Hey, it's Aurelius, hope you're doing well. In this video, you'll learn how to make a fillable PDF form like this example worksheet. Your students, customers, or clients can enter text directly. There's even an option to add checkboxes and a drop-down menu. And the best part about all this is that you only need two tools and they are completely free to use. So without further ado, let me show you how to do this. All right, so the very first step you're going to wanna to take is to create your actual form or worksheet. And the best tool to use to actually create it and design it is none other than Canva. So if you don't have a Canva account yet, look in the description box below. There's a link to a 30 day trial of Canva Pro. However, you do not need a Canva Pro account. Once you've signed up, simply head to your homepage and we are going to create our form. Head over to create a design and the size that you want is the typical US letter or A4 document. So I can simply search for A4 document and there it is. From here, it's a matter of designing your form. If you want something simple, start off from scratch. Otherwise you can select from one of these templates. If you head over to templates and search for some of these uh, worksheets. If you search for form, you'll see some form templates. Alternatively, you can also search for worksheets which will bring up some relevant worksheet templates. I've already designed mine as you can see right here. There's also this template that I found when I searched for worksheet. This is the one that I selected. So you could very well start from one of these templates or start from scratch. In my case, all I did was I entered the questions or the prompts. These shaded areas that you see, you don't necessarily need to add because using the next tool, we'll be adding things like that. All right, once you've created your form or worksheet, head over to share, and then we are going to click on download. From here, you wanna select PDF standard, select the pages that you wanna save. I'll just select the first page, click done and click on download. Once you've downloaded your file, head over to a website called Docfly. And this is the magic tool that'll turn your PDF file into a fillable. PDF file. You do not need to sign up. All you need to do is simply drag and drop your file. So here's mine. I'm going to drag and drop it right here. Once uploaded, you'll see your PDF file right away like so. We are in the editor mode. So what you're going to want to do is go to the form creator mode. This is where you can start adding those fillable fields. A little side note, your file will stay on Docfly's server for 24 hours. If you do want to upgrade and export more than three forms, then you are going to to want to upgrade. But let's now go ahead and add our fields. The first type of field is a text field. So this is where you can add kind of one line of text or if there's more than one line, then you want to select paragraph field. So based on this first prompt colors, a text field is all we need and you simply click it and you'll see this purple area, simply drop where you want it. Don't worry about adjusting it because now you can do it. You can see, you can adjust how large, how wide you want it, even how high you want it too. So you can make it like so, but that's a bit too much. So let's resize it around there. To check to see how it looks, you can simply type anything you want and that's how it's going to look. You can also change the actual text color right here. Let's say when someone inputs some text, it'll end up being black or blue. You can change it and adjust it right there. There's also an option to change the background color of the field by looking on the right, you'll see background color. We'll click that once. And let's say we want a yellow color. And that's how it's going to look like once they start inputting some text. Another example I wanna show you is adding checkboxes. If you look at the top, you'll see checkbox field. Click that once and click where you want that checkbox to go roughly because you can always move it anyway. And if I click once, you'll see the check mark right there. Again, you can change the color of the check mark by going here, now it's red and even changing the actual symbol. So if you do not want a check mark, you can select cross or square, whichever you want. You can enter some text in Docfly. However, I recommend doing it when you're in Canva designing your form or worksheet. But let's say you forgot to add something, you can simply head over to text and we are going to click okay and start adding some text. So let's say right here, we'll put in casual for the first option and we can move it as well. And that's how you do it. 
simply rinse and repeat however many boxes you want. And that there is the checkbox field. Let's move on to another example, the drop down field. Again, simply click on drop down field, click where you want it. And this time on the right, you'll need to add some choices. I'll add a few here. All right, I've added some options as you can see. What you can also do is sort the choices, allow custom choice as well. So in the drop down, you can see the choices that we've added. Otherwise, the person filling in the form can start typing the options. So this is an example. So go ahead and add your fillable fields. And once you're done, we are going to click on save. And only after you've clicked on save, you'll see the export option. So from here, we can click on export. You want to click on download and once downloaded you've got your fillable version you can then send that or share it to your students customers or clients and again here's one i prepared earlier where we can start typing and entering the fields checking the boxes as you can see or selecting from one of these options right here and as simple as that you too can quickly and easily create fillable pdf forms if this video was helpful, by all means, give this video a quick thumbs up and I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next. In the meantime, do take care and I'll see you in the next one.